Welcome back to Crow Country. So it has been a hot minute. Let's see if I can even remember how to play this game. Okay, so we should probably reload. And we got a run button. And we got a ladder button. Anything out here I need to be immediately aware of? Yeah, actually, that right there that nearly killed me. Well, nearly poisoned me. Anyway, welcome back to Crow Country. So, last time we have... There's our map. Is there like a zoom out button? shows and hides the key. Okay, so no real zoom out button. That's fine. We'll we'll be okay. So there are not a lot of things left for us here. And we of course need to figure out what we need to figure out. The main puzzle blocking our path right now is here in the seven seas, where we need to get through the door that is blocked by gas. Which means uh, we're probably going to be going underground. Before I do that, though, there are a couple things that I missed. And I know where one is. I'm trying to remember where the other one is. Well, for now, let's head back to the Haunted Manor. That is a trap. All the trap ones have a specific graphic on them, I've realized. Don't want to go in the dungeon, but I don't want to deal with that guy. So a while back, I said I want to... Oh, crap, there is stuff in here. Jeez. Yeah, you gonna die? God dang. Okay, so this is something we missed in here. It was this here cage. That is driving. And that will open up this, which we opened up before. I mentioned before wanting to come back here, and I kind of never did. My little mushroom boy. And that should be all of our upgrades. So, cool! There is something else. Um, I think it's back in the dig site. So it is first door on the right. Oh, isn't it in the mushroom? No, it's in the doghouse. So I said we're never going to have to come in here again. We are going to have to come in here again. Um, and just kind of hope that what I need is not over there with that thing. There we go. And there's our laser sight for the shotgun. 
which I have been missing. So I do not have a laser sight for the flamethrower. I don't know if there even is one. And then there is also one other thing that we can collect. which is back at the very beginning. Ah, oh, jeez, there's a second one. This car, we never really investigated, but the trunk is locked with a silver lock, and we do have... A silver key. E.L. Crow. Of course. To shoebox. To Natalie. <laughs> Running shoes. It changes what we look like now because you can kind of see our socks and our shoes. I prefer the old look, personally, but we run faster with these on. One of these is the button I'm looking for. Okay, so we are hurting a little bit. I'm just going to use a small med kit. So I killed the one. Don't know where the other one is. He snuck up on me, though. Or he could just despawn or something, I guess. So that's about the extent of what we missed, I think. There is still stuff for us to do. Um, you can see the question mark there in Neptune's Palace. Of all the things that there are to do, I genuinely have no idea what the thing in Neptune's Palace is. Um... Don't know if it's required to beat the game. I don't know nothing. So where we're heading now, though, is down below. There's not really anything for us to do up... Anything else for us to do up top. So... There are shorter paths to get where we need to go. Maybe I should actually start by going down near where we need to be down. We're going to have to explore the whole area, though. So I suppose it doesn't really matter. See, I'm kind of running in bursts because I don't know when an enemy is going to be in front of me, and I'd rather not run into the enemy. Oh, I think somebody said to recheck the vending machines periodically. But then I think the vending machines also give you stuff kind of exclusively that you're short on. Ammo, or what have you. And I'm not actually super low on anything right now. Did I even need to come in here? Was that completely wasted ammo? It sure was! I wanted to go on the elevator because we're going down below.
Wasting all this ammo, yeah. I will take more ammo. I will always take more ammo. Route West. No, Route Wid. Okay. I don't want to get too close to that guy. He's going to try to spew on me. Ooh, flamethrower ammo. Okay, so this cart will take me... I do not have a map, so I do not know where I am. Um, this cart will take me east, I think? So getting my bearings right. That means what I probably want to do is go this way. Oh, you're that. You're one of them. Yeah, I saw you around the corner. That's one of those little gremlin guys that are real fast. Oh, if I'd seen that, I'd have used that instead. Oh. Root Th. So they're named after the days of the week, I guess. Central. I think we've taken out everything here, so let's take a quick look around. See if there's anything I missed. Like, I don't know, ammo? No, I think the things I keep seeing on the ground are the wires. Cart that way. Yeah, not really seeing anything else here, though. Okay, fine. Hmm. So I may have to find another way to handle those then. I wonder what that is. Low on handgun ammo. Oh, I wonder if I could have lured him into getting hit by the thing. Oh well. Still taken out with relatively low ammo, all things considered. Okay, so we can't get through there, so don't get hit by this. never really used the flamethrower for combat.
Uh, but I am saving my magnum ammo. The magnum is the strongest weapon in the game. So you kind of want to save that for, like, bosses, effectively. Okay, so that was the elevator there. Not seeing anything else. Okay, so, break room. It's unlocked, thank heavens. Not immediately seeing anything dangerous. It's a pool table. Looks like the game got interrupted. My first boyfriend taught me how to play pool. He stopped wanting to play after I started winning. Somehow that feels like a very Mara thing. Okay, so there is health there. That is not the button I wanted to hit, but I am full on health, so I'm not too worried. Ammo, though. It's a shelf. A bunch of green metal tubes. It's like I have gold inside. It's a notice board. I can't remember the code for the break room security gate. I swear it had a three, a six, a two, and another six, but I can't remember the order. I know I took the code from an old license plate, but it's gone missing. Okay, well, we have to go find an old license plate to switch. Root access. Okay, nice and easy. Oh, heavens. Um, can I just not? Yeah, mini boss. Oh, hey, a license plate. Georgia, 2663. And that's what you needed to get out. So I do think I remember it being mentioned that a lot of the puzzles in this game are kind of self-contained. So, like he mentions that, you're not going to have to go looking everywhere to find a license plate. It's going to be nearby. Um, also, funny thing of note is if you... This is consistent between playthroughs. If you know what this code is, you don't even have to fight the boss. Or mini-boss, or whatever. Um, you can just run over here, punch in the code, and leave. So that should give us... That should open up the root access, so we can actually get in the individual root rooms. Or at least I hope so. Still taking it slow, because you never know when something's going to respawn. It's a notebook. Tolman's records. July 1988. So I finally turned off the excavation machines. Boss didn't give me permission, but didn't argue. He's obsessed with the pool and the guests. He hasn't answered his phone in days. There was an accident in the park. Boss had to shut the place down. I don't think he cares at all. Hmm. A large tank, acid is steadily dripping out of the pipe. The 
the smell is almost unbearable. Maybe I could use some of that acid. Acid bottle. I guess I can turn the valve and stop it dripping. I'm gonna leave it, because I feel like if I turn it off, that guy's gonna get up. There's a sign. Calibration, Route 6, Friday, Loving and Giving. Okay. Control box, there's a lever. I probably shouldn't mess with these. Um, so now that we have the small vial of acid here... I don't know if this is actually useful for useful to us as players right now because I know this can be used to solve a puzzle that we have already solved a different way. So that cut that. And that's taken a section of it off. Oh, well, crap. Well, so much for that one. Bicycle. Doors open, bicycles here. That's not actually a women's bike, that's a male bike. The only real difference between a women's bike and a men's bike, there are other minor differences like how the seat is laid out to accommodate different hips and whatnot, but the main difference um, that you can tell just at a quick glance is the center horizontal pole goes straight across, it's a male bike. If it dips down at an angle, um, it'll connect probably about halfway between where it is now and where the pedals are to the horizontal pole. Um, half that slanted pole is a woman's bike. That's an old-timey distinction, I suppose. The lower pole is designed to accommodate skirts. Nowadays, it kind of doesn't matter. Hi! What are you doing down here? Harrison, what are you doing? It's not safe down here, you know. Yeah, no, I know. I got chased by some kind of creature, I think. Did it touch you? Did it? No, no, I got away. Just about. I ran in here to hide, to get out of the way, you know. Right, good idea. And there's this big gas vent, and I thought, okay, maybe I can be of use. Maybe I can turn this off. Yeah, how's that going? Bad, I don't know how to do it. I tried, but it's too complicated. I don't get it. Heh. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure you can do it. I'll, I'll help you out, okay? I It's a small thing, but I like that when you're talking to NPCs, their name is actually below the model of the character. Like, it'll move left and right, so it's always underneath the one who's speaking. It's a control panel. It's connected to a massive gas pipe. Gas chimney. Manual override. Can't pull it. Total gas pressure must be at least exact. Must be at exactly 50 for successful manual override. Okay, so we gotta change our pressure. Okay, let's put our disc in. I got one of them. Ah, crap. And of course it's broken there where I can actually see and not just add things up. Okay, so these have to be exactly 50. So let's 
we just have to move these around then until they add up to 50 would be my guess. So that's not going to be 50, but that'll be a little bit closer than it was. So that's 10 and 9 is 19. 11 and 8 is also 19. So we need about another 10 out of this. Let's go like 13, 15. So that's going to be 5, 6, 7, 8. And 8 is 16, so that's 46. So we need 4 more, 8, 9, 11, 12. Heck yeah! Math! Hey, you did it. Yup. You're pretty smart, huh? I sure am. And so modest. I know! Okay, so with that turned off, we should now be able to get into the one place. We've only explored half of what's down here, though, and I wouldn't mind clearing out the other half. I also wouldn't mind more shotgun shells. How rude. Wednesday, we have not been in you. Okay, so this is just our save point. And now we have a map. So it's not a complicated map, even though we didn't have it before. So there are still some shenanigans off to the east. Full of woe. Start handgun and stuff. Ooh, shotgun shells. And I'll go ahead and save while I'm here. Now we have not taken the rails across. So let's see what kind of adventures are on the other side. 